Hey there friends, how's it going? I have got a very interesting game to show you today. The basic premise is you are a landlord appointed by the state and you have to spy on your tenants. It's choice based and your choices matter. I'm in the driving seat so that doesn't bode well for everyone in the game. This is your boss. Click on him to begin talking. Okay, why does this my boss live in my apartment with me? This is gonna be very uncomfortable. Observe and record. Check. <laughs> Surveillance cameras will help. Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> this little funny walk. Just going to spy on the neighbors, honey. Be back in a while. Okay, I'm just being the casual Airbnb owner and installing a camera inside the smoke detector. In fact, why not put two? This is definitely not illegal. I like your enthusiasm, he says, <laughs> as I'm installing the cameras in the smoke detectors. Oh, that's really cool. So because I install the cameras there, I can see inside that room in those spots without actually being there. I love it. Oh, that I don't love. Is that just his speaking voice? He's repeating the same line over and over again. <laughs> then again, he's probably really into propaganda, I guess. Making small talk with my son. Um, just talk about the mines. Miners love the mines by definition. Have you changed your mind about being a miner? He's like, yes, pa, I'm an adult now. <laughs> and just pops into an adult man. Like as in he'd turn into one, not like he'd pop into... Never mind. Well, he's still in that angsty phase, so I'm just gonna walk away from him now. I need to call the ministry and see what I have to do next. Oh my god, this is a whole apartment building. Am I in the basement? Oh, that's a little sad. Okay, I need to search apartment two and install a camera in <laughs> apartment two as well. Is there a store that I can buy things in or? Oh, there's a store up here. Okay, I'll buy a camera and head to apartment two. <laughs> I, I meant to look at what number it was, but now I see that it's on the wall. I'm just making sure it works, all right? I, I, mean, I need to make sure that your peephole is still peeping. Anyway, I'm going inside your apartment now. Oh God, I hear a car pulling up. Get inside. Okay, no, nothing hidden in their TV. Do I have your television? phone log. Oh no, but I found some cards. Yeah, you like to gangle. Gangle? What's a gangle? No, he likes to gamble, I, I guess. Oh wait, it's warning me that if I steal, I'd be prosecuted under the law. I guess I probably shouldn't get into gambling. It is my first day here. All right, I installed the camera. I also found that there's a broken bottle, which I'm guessing the game's like, oh, they're, they're into alcohol. But in my head, I'd say hoarder. Who holds on to a broken bottle inside their desk? Why is there no evidence here? I want him to be guilty of something. <laughs> I don't think I'm coming at this unbiased, you know, now that I'm listening to myself talk out loud. I, we just got a new directive. All apples must be destroyed. It is illegal to store or consume them. Seems fair, you know, harsh, but fair. Okay, I searched their entire apartment and I got nothing from it. So I guess I'll just wait until I see him use this cupboard? I, I don't know. That's my plan of attack right now. The hell was that noise? Was that because I stole? Because I just took this diary from someone's bed, but it was in my own house. I'm just being an overbearing parent. I'm not a criminal. Oh, I thought that old man just got hit by a bus for a second. I'm just waiting down the time because I, I don't have this gathered data thing checked off. But I've gone through all of his belongings. Maybe he's just a nice guy. No, <laughs> he must be hiding something. I'll get you. Damn you, Jacob. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a phone call. I hope this is to reward me for the good job I've done. It's an emergency call from the ministry. Oh, no. You failed. What? You were issued a warning and fined 250. That's like all of my money. <laughs> no. According to our sources, Jacob is violating state directives. Who? Because I can't get anything on the guy and I'm his landlord. Okay, well, I'm going to plant some on him this time if I can't find anything. I'm not getting in trouble for this guy. I didn't peek in this time, so I hope he's not here. Oh, wait, that's him. Hold on. I, oh, I, dude, your your door is weird. I, I gotta go upstairs. Phew, I think I covered for myself. Now I'm just knocking instead. He does look like he's up to something. Something about the stance, I think. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. Did I win a competition called Who Gives a Damn About the New Manager? All right, well now you're definitely going down. You're rude and that's the death penalty in my book. Oh, what's he doing? What's that you got there? Drugs? No matter what it is, I'm saying it is drugs. Like in all honesty, they could be gummy vitamins and I'll be like, there he is officer. That's the man, get him. I'm just standing around looking really important until he leaves his apartment. And then I'll go in and get whatever it is that he's been using in there. It's taking you so long. Where's- oh, he's asleep! Alright, I'm going in. Uh-oh. Um, 
He wasn't asleep at all. He was just standing there looking at the door. Uh, he's approaching me. I should be running, but it's not allowing me to run away. My guy's just standing there like nothing happened. Apologize and leave. Sorry about that. You know, for just barging in the middle of the night with the key that I have to your apartment. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Hey, by the way, what hours do you regularly sleep at? I'm not very good at doing this, am I? <laughs> Every opportunity I get, I just barge in there. I go straight for the table. Now give me those drugs or whatever they were. Wait, there's just like a dance record. This doesn't help me at all. Oh no, oh no, he's coming back. <laughs> Quick, search his chair. All right, there's nothing there. Oh, I swear the bathroom's around here. So, oh, dude, sorry. I fell in here somehow. I, I think it was a loose floorboard upstairs, actually. Sorry about that, I'm already leaving. <laughs> he just can't go to anyone about this. I'm practically living in there with him. He should be subletting it out to me. Okay, Jacob. Manishek, if that is your real name, I'm about to write a report on you. Living in apartment number two, I had to think about that for a bit too long. Violated directive number... oh god, what can I get him on? Ah, uh, yes, 6041. Uh, yesterday, yeah, why not, he was... He was using drugs yesterday. <laughs> Do I really even need to give evidence? Like, shouldn't my word just be taken as gospel? Wait, I can't use it as evidence? Why not? Do I need to, like, get the security tapes? I'm writing him a blackmail letter instead. <laughs> okay, if I can't use the evidence, maybe if I catch him in the act, I can use it. So I'm just gonna open the door as he's doing drugs there by the table. <laughs> Hello, I've caught you doing drugs. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he just said to leave. He's just over there doing drugs and there's nothing I can do to stop him. I'm gonna lose everything because of this guy. No, no, get me. He's the one doing the drugs. Look, looking through the people. Well, I love a happy ending and all, but I'd like to try that again. Okay, so here I am back in Jacob's apartment, and I think there was a glitch because as soon as I figured out he likes to gamble, it was just like, oh yeah, call the ministry now. You, you've done it. Which is kind of frustrating, because I was trying for ages to figure out what he was up to. Your first task was a success. You were rewarded $500. Okay, that was a lot easier. Okay, and now I'm getting the next one. Spy on him using the cameras. When a camera detects a tenant doing something illegal, the action icon changes color. And I've $800. Yeah, this dimension is going way better than the last one. All my family are dead in that one. Which isn't all bad, now that I'm listening to their voices and putting it up louder. Yeah, I, I think actually that might have been the happy ending. There we go. I saw him doing drugs. The poor guy in the last playthrough, he must have been just like, come on, man, there's only so much drugs I can do. You gotta catch me. I'm the tutorial, goddammit. Okay, so what am I turning him in on? Uh, directive number 6039. Okay, buddy, you're going away for a long, long time. <laughs> this will serve you right for being my tenant, you fool. What? Oh, oh, the music's ticking off. Is he being taken away? Oh, I wanna see this. My enemy. <laughs> he comes running on through to watch. Wait, where is he? Oh, is he downstairs? He is downstairs. Hey, buddy, remember me from the other dimension? <laughs> You're going down. My guy looks bored as he's being, like, <laughs> beaten to death, and my guy's just like... Ah, <laughs> quite an uneventful day today. There we go. Bye-bye, Jacob. It's nice having his tenant. Feel free to recommend me to family or friends. Oh, nearly got hit by a bus. That would have been another happy ending. <laughs> okay, I may as well get this place spruced up for a new tenant. A famous cardio surgeon looking for a long-term rental. Guaranteed to be a decent tenant. I got a pretty good feeling about Jones, though. I'm gonna go with Jones. He's gonna rent it for a couple of weeks. I am really hoping that I don't get a heart attack now. <laughs> that would kind of be poetic in a way, I think. But I hate poetry. Why are you so sad to be moving in? Why does he look sad? You better start looking happier. I'm gonna come for you. I'm gonna get you taken away next. $1,000 and some reputation as well. Really, it's not about the money for me. It's about the respect. Okay, I got two new missions. I need to talk with some people. Bleah. And I need to uh, talk with more people. Not a good day to be a socially anxious landlord. Hey, kid, you do any crimes that you should be killed over? Oh, wait, you're my kid. Never mind. I'm putting up some new cameras. Who knows what they could be getting up to in the laundry rooms. I simply must know if they're 
mixing their colors and their whites, you know? What the hell? What are you doing out here? We got the Monopoly man just hanging out outside the building. You're gonna die <laughs> standing out here like this. You're a target. Oh, he sells stuff. He'll sell books for my kid, but I'd have to spend like all my money on it, so I'd rather just not care about my kid. It's a lot easier for me. And this guy just gave me some questionable fish to sell, and I can se I can keep any of the profit above 3,000. Oh, this guy will buy it. Come back tomorrow. I'll give you the money then. Oh, okay. I hope he actually gives me the money, otherwise I just got scammed. The last person I need to talk to isn't here, so I guess I'll just allow myself into their apartment and install security cameras. Oh no, they're coming back. Get out of here. Hey, I'm just a landlord, just doing landlord stuff. Not installing cameras though, that would be, that would be weird. Also, a little birdie told me you're mixing your colors and your whites in the laundry room. I must profile Klaus Schimmer. Which one is, he? is that even? <laughs> Where does he live? Klaus Schimmer. Okay, he lives in apartment one with his wife. When I looks like he's a bit of a bookworm. He's reading. What a nerd. I'm gonna turn him over for being a nerd. What? You can read? You think you're better than me? Well, just because you are, I'm sending you away. Oh, he's the ex-owner of the apparent building. All right, I don't want him launching a coup against me. I definitely have to bring him down, whether he's guilty or not. It is illegal to read or own a book by Paul Williams. Oh, I bet he's doing that. It's too convenient, isn't it? Oh, he's going to sleep. Can I break in if he's asleep? Oh, sorry, ma'am. Um, I was spying on your husband, not you. It's all good. Trust me. Well, looks like I can't sneak in then. Maybe I can just ask her about stuff. Okay, I, I borrowed a, a saucepan off her instead. That was a good cover. That's why I was peeking into your apartment. I was trying to see if I could get an angle and check if you've the right saucepan. Honey, wake up. Honey, I've got pot. Oh, yeah, that woke her up. She was just in the other bed. I just went in screaming at the child that I have pot. Oh, this guy's coming back. I'm just running over to him immediately. I want my money for that canned goods. Your canned food isn't selling well. It's hard to get rid of. I've made no money. That wasn't the deal. Here's an envelope with almost half of the money. Say thank you for even this. What is this? I've been scammed. Where's the murder button? <laughs> How do I get him sent away? All right, well, I'm going to buy the books for my kids. And and yeah, that that's fine. Why could I sell him back the two grand for 1500? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe I could just sell it for the 1500 and keep the cash, but I just wanted to keep the whole two grand. That's like allowing the salesman to scam me twice. The child is talking about rats. That's not good. <laughs> All right, I'll just uh, pretend I didn't see that. I don't care about the health and safety of my children. I want to take down Klaus. Profile rejected. Incorrect data. I got fined? What? I got the wrong occupation. I, I just assumed he was a teacher because he was literate. Is that wrong? All right, well, he's heading out. I'm going to go search his apartment. Yes, it's empty. All right, I'm going in. Wait, no, don't knock. There's no one there. <laughs> if someone answered, I'd be very scared, actually. Okay, well, first of all, let's get some cameras up in here so I don't have to keep peeping in through their peephole. What the hell is this guy up to? A foreign letter with a foreign stamp? Suspicious as heck. Oh, wait, they're home. Ah, run into the bedroom. It'll make it less weird. Ah, sorry. I was just taking a nap. I just stumbled in here doing landlord stuff. You know how it is. I was just returning your pot, okay? I I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm still avoiding this dude who I owe money to for the food. <laughs> okay, I'll try writing another the report on this guy and hope I don't get fined. Like, he could be any of these. I, I don't know. I'm gonna go with Archive Employee and, and hope for the best. Did that work? I got fined again. <laughs> I'm gonna try again. <laughs> it's just a matter of time before I get it right. Send. Yes, it's right. <laughs> See? I know what I'm doing, <laughs> I think. Martha is sick, Carl, and we have no medicine at home. Well, sorry, but I spend all of her money on random books. Okay, what do I need for her? I need aspirin. Okay, that's not too bad. I should be able to get that off the, the merchant, right? I'm waking this guy up at 5 a.m. to tell him bad news about his canned goods. It's only 1,500. We agreed on twice as much. What? Oh, you used to listen to me. Or don't you know how to count? Okay, that's it. I'm going to get this guy sent away. <laughs> I want to rent out this apartment to the, the surgeon fella. Wait, why is this guy acting like he's in a position of power? I can keep the matter quiet and I lose reputation points. Pay with your own money and I lose money. That's not happening. Or flip off. Offer to money. I'm gonna flip him off. I won't pay you a penny. The canned food was stolen. I can report this, you know. What the? Hold on, wait. What the? No, hold on. Does he have a gun or something? Ah! No, no, kill me. Oh my god. I can't believe I got shot. How does that happen? Well, I, I know how it happened, but I don't know. It's just rare that I get uh, I get dealt the consequences of my actions in such a harsh manner. Uh, another happy ending. Okay, so I managed to load, which is great. I don't have to restart the game. Um, and I'm just going to ignore this guy completely. I'm going to accept his rent checks, and that's all I will see of him until I eventually find proof 
so that the state can take him away. I don't know what the proof will be or what for, but I'll find something that'll get him sent away. You must evict Klaus Schimmer. Uh, based on the profile, what did he do wrong? <laughs> Talk with Schwimmer. We'd be fine with him moving out. Is he actually going to do that, though? Uh, and then, plus, I'd have a whole awkward conversation. Can I just find him, like, doing something bad instead? Oh, and here's the merchant. Can I just sell that, that envelope back to him so I can get the money? Yeah, there we go. Now it's untraceable. No one will ever know. <laughs> oh, no. There's the dude. Um, just go over this way. Hide behind this fella. Maybe I could get inside his trench coat. You'll manage the building that used to belong to my family. The previous manager had already turned it into junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. Anyway, time to threaten you with eviction. <laughs> Goes from, I'll do my best, to, it's over for you. I was told to evict you from the building. One wrong move and you're on the street. <laughs> I was told you spy on me. Is that true? That's a lie. <laughs> and tell me when this person told you. I can confirm using the cameras I have up in your house. I'm going to excuse myself. I have no comment on this, so whether I spy on him or not. <laughs> All right, well... He's leaving with his wife, so I'll just gain access to their apartment and find something incriminating. All right, I'm gonna take down the security cameras and install bigger ones. I'm definitely gonna catch him now. There we go. They should be worried, like, the fact that we don't seem to care about them at all in any way or look after them. And there's two smoke detectors in every room. That should have been the first giveaway. This guy's become my mortal enemy now just because he stood up to me. <laughs> it's illegal to own these books, Klaus. I like how the guy was like, I, I was told you spy on me. And then he continues to hold this propaganda. Maybe this is just him getting proof that I'm spying on him, but I don't care. He's going away for a long time. Okay, the other guy's gone into his apartment. I can flee now. <laughs> oh yeah, Martha's sick. I completely forgot about that. I should, oh, the salesman is gone. All right, look, she'll be fine. She's young. Her immune system is strong. Okay, what is it? It's 6041, directive number. Okay, and where's my evidence? There we go. I tried to do this the nice way and prove to everyone I was a tough man, but you made me look stupid. So you forced my hand, Klaus. Report rejected. Incorrect data. What? <laughs> oh, I was supposed to pick the date of the directive. Okay, I thought they'd just have all that on file, you know, like a list bad things and then just everything listed. Yeah, I don't know why I have to give them the date when they enacted the law. <laughs> Clearly, they're not really keeping track. What if I try and blackmail him first? Maybe this was a, a sign that I wasn't being bad enough, actually. If you don't want the police to learn about this, leave $1,000 in the flower pot at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Excellent. I still have time to turn him in if this goes badly. But so far, my choices have been pretty good, I would claim. Okay, I have four hours to find pills for my um, sick daughter. This woman will give me the pills if I find her a cardigan, but I have like three hours. My wife was talking to her. Why couldn't she have asked? I'm doing everything here. All right, I'm randomly going to break into this house and hope they have a cardigan somewhere. <laughs> That's my great strategy. Oh, God damn it. Hey, you wouldn't have a cardigan by any chance, would you? Come on, old man. Walk faster. I don't have much time here. What are you doing? Apologize and leave. It was a complete mistake. I meant to break into this apartment. Oh, I can't break it. Okay. Um, I meant to break into this apartment. Oh, no, that guy wants to kill me. Um, um, all right, well, we're screwed. I'm going back into the basement and hope that my daughter will live, I guess. Wait, the guy who wants to kill me is leaving. Okay, run. They're watching me break into the other apartment. Like, hmm, I still think he might be spying on us. I found a robe, but I don't think that's good enough. May as well look for other evidence when I'm in here. I want this guy gone ASAP. Wait, rare antique and modern coins from a variety of countries. It's illegal to use other currencies. I saw that somewhere. I, I know. <laughs> Just anything that'll get me out of this situation. Oh god. Oh god, he's back. Okay, good. He's just going by. That's fine. Let me inspect his 80s music. All right, that's that's not enough. I, maybe I can make a new law about that and get him kicked out under that one if the first one doesn't work. Oh, I also need to check on this plant and see <laughs> if he uh, obeyed my demands. <laughs> Fee for silence. Yes. <laughs> now I'm going to go turn him in. <laughs> I feel like the morality in this game, the system isn't really working for me. I'm just being the worst person ever and I'm happy about it. <laughs> okay, I just did this from memory. I'm getting so good at my job. I hope this actually works now. Oh, wait, I can't reuse the evidence? Damn, I'll have to find him on something else to get him kicked out. <laughs> okay, he's living in apartment two, this other guy. <laughs> uh, does 
this even work? Or no, this is just information. It's not quite evidence, is it? Because he's not using it. Even though it says it's illegal to use for- I, I don't know, maybe I could try and write in the letter. Maybe they'll just ignore it. No, it's not accepting it. Ah, damn. All right, maybe, maybe I can find him on something else. I'm just looking for evidence all the time. All right, when either of them leave their apartments, I'm going in. My mission is to get rid of two of these guys. One, because, well, he's trying to kill me. And two, well, I was just told you, he seems like a nice man, actually. But uh, the bribe was good. That was fun. That was fun. A little bit of blackmail. Okay. Th this guy left. All right, we're going in. And I'm just layering his apartment with cameras. I'm even going to buy a really good one for one of them. Okay, and now I'll search the place. I just have to be careful because I'm worried he'll just shoot me if he finds me again. Illegal object found. Oh, look at that. Wait, 80s music is illegal. Wait, <laughs> it just got made illegal. <laughs> like, since I came into his apartment, it became illegal. It is illegal to possess foreign music. Maybe someone up there is listening to me. All right, well, he's leaving outside now, so I better run across and uh, turn him in. Or actually, I could take a quick look in the neighbor's apartment. They're also out. Oh, no. I think someone's coming home. Quick, search. <gasps> a book, yes. He still kept the books. He's like, all right, well, they know, but at least I still have my books. <laughs> and then I just go back in and see them again. I also noticed they had this aspirin, which... I'm tempted to steal, but I'm not going to because knowing my- You know what? No, actually, I don't want to learn from my lessons. I'm going to take it. Yes, I know, prosecuted under the law, whatever. It's mine. Give it- give it to me. <laughs> I said yes. All right, there we go. Stolen. I love how this guy had the foreign music before it was illegal, and now I'm using it as evidence. This is like YouTube style of dealing with <laughs> penalties. There we go. Send that report, and uh, they're going to inspect it. Yes, that sounds good. I hear the epic music rolling up. This is the heroic music, right? Right? And then I'm gonna try and evict the other guy at the same time. There we go. Okay, it's been sent to the police. <laughs> All my problems will be evicted in no time. If they're breaking into both apartments at the same time. <laughs> oh, thank goodness this guy's out of here. He looks like the Pillsbury Doughboy, but he is far more dangerous than he seems. Hey everyone, I'm here to enjoy the moment. Just... Do your thing. <laughs> this whole image is just cursed. He's just kind of wandering around on the street, looking wherever, enjoying his day, while the other two get beaten to a pulp and taken away in a van. Hey, uh, I just wanted you to know, it was me. <laughs> Excellent work. What about the wife now? She just stays there? Rewarded three grand? Oh, that's enough for so many security cameras. I'm so happy. Everyone is unhappy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are they all unhappy with me? The hell was that? What the? What is going on? <laughs> are you all looking for a place to live? What's happening? <laughs> that's just a minor act of God, everyone. Don't overreact. It's still a very safe place to live and also very affordable. I, I also don't spy on you guys or anything like that. No, no takers. Okay. Bye. The police are rolling up now. I... Ah. Oh. Just another day as a landlord, huh? The problems we have to deal with. Anyway, everyone, I got these propaganda posters to put up. I hope you like them. It's to boost morale in the hallways. There's unrest in the city. It's dangerous to go outside. I assure you, after what I saw, it's dangerous to stay inside as well. We just got attacked. He's trying to sell back the money, an envelope of money for canned goods for 4500 This guy's a scam artist. Oh, no. I hope they're not coming for me. I'm just fixing furniture, boys. Go on with without me. What is happening? I'm just gonna continue repairing things. I have no idea where they're gone. Oh, wait. What? What, what are they doing? <laughs> what did I do? Martha has died because I didn't get her aspirin? In my defense, I don't think aspirin would have saved her, alright? We'll just have to deal with the fact that Martha has died. Hide your crocodile tears. You did nothing and neither did your wife. But why did the police come to pick her up? Ah, well. At least they're not coming for me. <laughs> I'll go back to repairing. What? No, dude, I'm the landlord. I'm fixing stuff. I even fixed that while you were accusing me of breaking in. All that tense music and anxiety for no reason. She's just gone to sleep in the room where I'm fixing furniture. I hope she's a sound sleeper. Your uh, smoke detector's also a little bit fiddly. I'm just gonna see if it's okay. Um... Yeah, it seems fine. Oh, he caught me. <laughs> How does an old man like that know about the uh, technology? What are you doing here? Furniture repair? <laughs> Come in! <laughs> that could just get me away with anything, apparently. 
<laughs> he immediately starts searching his bookcase. What are you doing here? Furniture repair? Come in! Okay, this is getting old now. Either kick me out or let me install the security cameras. <sighs> The hell was that noise? I have one more piece of furniture to repair, but I can- Oh, it's in my own home. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna repair all of the apartments. This is probably a bad idea, but I like money. Needs to find an apartment ASAP. It's life or death. Well then, Dora, I guess it's death. A young student looking to rent a room. I can't see this going wrong. Oh, I don't really have my, uh, my options here. I just gotta take Dora. All right, Dora. I guess you get to live. No one wants to move into your building. Yeah, I saw that earlier. They everyone just ran by screaming. All right, just a second. No, come in yet. I'm just getting finished installing your smoke detectors. Oh, what a great first impression. <laughs> she comes to the door and I'm just like, um, I can explain. <laughs> it is illegal to possess and use weapons. Okay, this one, like, I, I kind of get why they're bringing it in, but why did it have to wait so long? Why did we need to outlaw fish before we outlawed the guns? It is illegal to cry. Don't worry, I won't be breaking that law. I'm so manly. Hello, I'm Carl, the landlord. You might have met my brother, Daryl, who, um, He's a, he's a bit of a weirdo. He's he's died since you met him in your apartment, actually. <laughs> well, anyway, since she's left her apartment, I'm gonna go install security cameras. I'm also searching her apartment, because she didn't make a great first impression. She came off as a little bit weird. Illegal music! <laughs> you know what? I think I'll just blackmail her. She seems good for it. I bet she's lots of money. Pay for the funeral services. <sighs> what a selfish kid. All right, well, this other lady's gonna pay for it when all things come to pass. There we go. Pay me $1,000 and leave it in the plant at the bottom bottom of the stairs. Oh, I love blackmailing people. Who the hell is this? You better not be uh, a bully or anything. I, I need to bully you to feel strong and important. I think you're a decent man who can be trusted. Then I seriously doubt your judge of character. A young man, Fluffledle Brook Street, lives in your building. Is that my name? I think that might be my son. <laughs> Can you give him this box? Take the box and give it to him. No, bring it to my office. I'm gonna see what's inside it. <laughs> and either I take it if it's valuable or turn them in if it's not. I got a good thing going here, all right? I'm the landlord. I'm gonna check the plant already. Like, I can bribe people as the landlord. It's a great gig. Ah, here it is. And I meant blackmail, by the way. I don't want to do the bribing. That would mean I hand over money. And and as we said earlier, I like money. Oh my God, this thing is huge. <laughs> all right, let's see what's inside. It's like Christmas, except, you know, I'm stealing from my son. It's kind of like a, a reverse Christmas in a way. A miner's hat, lab coats, and a pistol. That's it. I have to turn in my son. I'd like the hat though. Can I take these? Like, I want to wear these. You've heard about the National Labor Lottery, right? It's winner Leo is looking for a place to stay. We want you to give refuge to this lucky man. Oh yeah, he can stay here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there he is. He urgently needs to rent an apartment for a few days. Yeah, come on in, buddy. Anyway, what was they doing? Oh yeah, turning over my son. Actually, I wonder, could I blackmail my son? <laughs> oh no, I can't. He'd come to me asking me for money to give it to him only to go bribe me because I'm blackmailing him. I was like, oh wait, my family's not listed, but I, f I forgot that one of the children died. So I, yeah, it was only two people. Anyway, I'm... I'm turning him in. Incorrect data apartment number, but he lives with me in the basement. Did I make a mistake filling that out? I'm pretty sure it was right. I'm pretty good at my job, you know. Oh wait, no, it's not my son. No, my son is Patrick Stein. I just thought it was my son and I wanted to hand him over to the government. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Where does he live then? Apartment two. Oh, I, I've like not even spoken to this guy. I never met him. <laughs> anyway, I'm turning in, buddy. I'm sorry. But wait, the evidence shows up on my son. Is it because like it's in our apartment? I don't know what's going on. Look, uh, just take my son away. This is too confusing and I, I just don't want to talk about it anymore. Take him away. Here come the police. <laughs> I've made it so much worse because not only... Did I tattle on my son knowing he'd get taken away somewhere? But I framed him. Hey son, I'm heading out. I'll see you later. Or I don't know, maybe never, who knows. I'm pretty sure this is because like the gun is technically in our apartment. Like I could have turned in the, the, the wife as well. I'm not exactly certain, but I think that's what's happened. Anyway, my son's going away for a very long time. Long story short. <laughs> Bye, kiddo. They grow up so fast. Hello, lottery winner. <laughs> this guy wants a tie, so I guess if I find a tie anywhere, I'll give it to him. Maybe I can just try robbing someone. I don't think anyone's in number three. I don't know, my, my network of security cameras isn't as strong in there. <laughs> I'll fix that while I'm in the Oh, no, never mind, I got caught. <laughs> this family again. Um... 
I'm still um, fixing furniture. <laughs> what? What just happened? Did I slip and die? What the? My wife just... What? Wait, she's killing... I don't understand. Was it just out of sync? I, I think I got shot before she actually fired the bullet. <laughs> just her thinking about it got me killed. Um, I guess that makes sense, given that I did hand over a child. <laughs> And I didn't look after the other one and she died. And I don't know if you noticed the foreshadowing, but I love a happy ending. So we will end it there. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out more of my content here and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.